Hello, this is Julie from Yarn and Craftworks by Julie. And I just thought I'd get on and show you something that I've uh, made recently and show you what I made it with and all that stuff. I made... I haven't finished the other one yet because I haven't started it, but I wanted to see how this would do in the wash and everything. So I made it even with its mistakes and I put it in the wash and it did not shrink. I washed it and dried it and it did not shrink. It's um, Yarn Bee Cozy Toes and I think it's showing it backwards. Oh well, that's the way it goes. It's Yarn Bee Cozy Toes. Uh, <clears throat> 1.75 ounces, 210 yards. And the color is Maroon Magic. Lot number 626507. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> It's 93% acrylic and 7% polyester. So I can wear it even now if I wanted to. Um, and if you're using cro crochet hook, um, you would need a USE for 3.5 millimeter. And if you were using knitting needles, you would need US2 or a 2.75 millimeter. Um, and this, I bet you, I could make two pairs of socks with this yarn because I didn't even, maybe I used half of it. The pattern I am using came straight from the sock loom that I bought. And I did all the measurements and everything just to make sure that I was doing the right amount of everything on my loom. Oops. That wasn't supposed to fall off. On my loom. And then, because it's adjustable, I put it to where I needed it, which is, I needed 52 pegs. And I started here, of course whoops, here, that's my starting peg, and then for doing the heel, I went from here to here, and then back again, and then I did, I think it's called a German short row, um, they didn't say what it was called, they just said what to do, but if I'm not mistaken, it's a German short row. Anyway, it's a, uh, the pattern does top down, so you do this part first, then you do the heel and the foot, and then you do the toe the same exact way you did the heel. And then you take it, turn it inside out, and sew this part together. At least that's the way I did it. You don't have to do it that way, but it's the other way seemed kind of complicated. So I just decided to do it this way. Anyway, this is the sock, and I'm going to make the other one using this so that I have 
the uh, colors matched because I'm matching colors with this. I don't want them to be mismatched and different. Anyway, this comes on the sock loom and it has, let's see, it has English and um, French and Spanish directions. So, um, if you're more comfortable with French or Spanish directions, you can use those. Um, this comes from KB Looms, and um, uh, yeah, knittingboard.com if you want to go and check it out. So, actually, I bought it at, um, I was at Hobby Lobby. I bought it at Hobby Lobby, um, the loom. And I probably paid more for it than I should have because Hobby Lobby is a little bit expensive. I usually only buy from there when things are on sale, but I needed to get refills on some of my yarn to finish some projects, which I don't have with me because I'm at a friend's house and not at home. But that's what I have for today. So... May the Lord bless you all and give you peace, and I will talk to you next time. Thank you. Bye.